A former chief U.S. nuclear negotiator who's currently in Seoul says the ongoing tensions on the Korean Peninsula have reached a level he has not seen in well over two decades. Robert Gallucci spoke of his vision for peace in the region at a local university on Monday after holding closed-door talks with President Moon Jae-in. Kim Hae-sung with this report. A nuclear test and more than a dozen missile tests this year alone, including long-range ballistic missiles that could hit the continental United States, North Korea has reached a milestone in its nuclear weapons development program, ratcheting up tensions in the Asia-Pacific to a level not seen in 23 years. Robert Gallucci is the former special envoy for the U.S. Department of State and was Washington's chief negotiator in the North Korean nuclear crisis of 1994, in which he helped reach the agreed framework. On Monday, he offered his insights about how to resolve the North Korea nuclear crisis, first ruling out the use of a preemptive strike, which he said would endanger the lives of a million people. Preventive strikes without a, a, a provocation other than a ballistic missile test is um, unnecessary, unwise, and maybe even reckless. The risks are quite high, and the costs if, uh, would be or could be extraordinary. Gallucci said it is essential that America's extended deterrence provided to Seoul and Tokyo be credible. Also important are a strong defense on the South Korean side and a strong South Korea-U.S. alliance. Regarding sanctions, Gallucci said tougher international measures implemented are not enough, even with China's cooperation, since North Koreans are already accustomed to hardship. And anyway, he said Beijing will not apply sanctions severe enough to cause the regime to collapse. Ultimately, as he recommended in his letter to President Trump on June 28th, Gallucci argued that the key is negotiation. Right now, I would like the U.S. government to do uh, is to propose talks without preconditions at some location on this planet at a relatively senior level um, and to see whether it is possible to define a negotiating process that puts on the table some of the things we care about. He also argued that readiness on South Korea's side to engage in talks with the North would be helpful. Acknowledging that it will be difficult to bridge the different end goals of the U.S. and North Korea, Gallucci said a nuclear spillover in the region is unimaginable. He argued that incremental approaches using negotiations, sanctions and containment are the way to solve the second North Korean nuclear crisis before the window of opportunity closes. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.